This is Seven National News and in our top story, in his capacity as the ruler of Dubai, the UAE Vice President and Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has issued a decree number 16 of 2013, establishing the Dubai Appreciation Award for Community Service. The decree looks to celebrate those who demonstrate commitment to social responsibility. It aims to honour individuals, private companies and institutions that serve the community through initiatives in areas such as social welfare, health and education to achieve stability, integration and cohesion among its members without regard of material profit or personal gain. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed also issued resolution number 6 of 2013, forming the Board of Trustees of the Dubai Award for Community Service, to be chaired by the Chief of Dubai Police, Lieutenant General Dahi Kalfan Tamim, with Dubai's Deputy Police Chief, Major General Kamis Mata Al Mazena, as the Vice Chairman. The UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, visited INDEX, the International Design Exhibition, and the Office Exhibition Trade Shows at the Dubai World Trade Center on Tuesday. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed began his tour with a visit to Hall 8, where local and foreign companies are exhibiting their latest products in interior design and furniture and other related accessories. And at the office exhibitions at Sheikh Saeed Hall, His Highness, Mohammed, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed familiarised himself with the latest office equipment showcased by 120 exhibitors. The ruler of Dubai then went on to tour the 23rd International Design Exhibition taking place at Hall 5. He viewed the latest products which are being showcased for the first time in the Middle East from Italian, Turkish, German and Chinese companies among others. At Rashid Hall, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed viewed the latest equipment and materials, as well as wedding and festival supplies of about 90 companies from 15 countries, including the UAE. He then concluded his tour at the Sheikh Maktoum Hall, which is hosting about 29 companies from the UAE and four other countries, specialised in organising international parties and festivals on all occasions. The UAE's foreign minister told the Federal and National Council on Tuesday that the next 12 months will see positive results in regards to visa-free travel for Emiratis to Schengen countries. The foreign minister stated that the European Parliament will consider granting Emiratis visa-free entry to the European Schengen area next year, adding that the UAE president, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan's visit to the UK last month has strengthened the UAE-UK relationship. According to reports, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah stated that 55 countries were granting Emiratis visa-free entry, which was fairly good, and that Japan may also be easing visa requirements where diplomats will be granted visa-free entry and multiple entry visas will be granted to citizens. Heart disease and stroke kill more women each year than cancer, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS and malaria combined. It's according to experts. And off the back of this, Majid al Fatain Properties shopping malls across the region joined hands today to prevent the disease amongst women in its biggest ever corporate social responsibility campaign in the healthcare sector. In the UAE, 25% of all deaths are caused by cardiovascular disease, of which 50% are women, while globally over 8.6 million die each year. Ten shopping malls across the UAE, Bahrain, Egypt and Oman, are joining forces to support the American Heart Association's global campaign, Go Red for Women, and in partnership with government authorities, leading hospitals and non-profit organisations. At designated areas within each mall, which include Deira City Centre, Mall of the Emirates, Fujera City Centre and Ajman City Centre here in the UAE, free heart health testing for blood pressure, blood sugar, body mass index and cholesterol will be performed, as well as quick health tips for shoppers from partner organisations. Go Red for Women, founded by the American Heart Association in 2004, is supported annually by more than 30 countries worldwide. With the tagline, this is not a red dress, it is a red alert, 
The campaign aims to raise awareness about the importance of prevention, diagnosis and control of cardiovascular disease in women. Cardiovascular disease is number one killer in UAE. Out of four deaths in UAE, one of them, at least one of them, is due to cardiovascular disease. In our society, the main cause for cardiovascular disease in women are diabetes, physical inactivity, and overweight, and hypertension as well. So the formula is quite simple. Try to eat healthy food, Try to have more activity and say no to smoking. Majid al Fatim properties uh, always take the corporate social responsibility uh, very seriously, and we have a lot of initiatives which is goes into that uh, angle. By having hosting this this event, Go Red for Women, uh, I think uh, uh, it's it's very important that we give some sort of an awareness uh, to, to to the women. Uh, uh, because uh, uh, the, the research uh, shows that there is a lack of uh, health awareness uh, among the women in the world. And uh, we, our majority c customers in the mall are women. So this is basically one of the reasons that we are hosting this uh, sort of an initiative. The campaign is starting in uh, May 17, which has started already in, uh, in uh, Oman uh, sit Center. Uh, uh, and uh, sit centers, and then uh, we'll end it uh, we'll, uh, in uh, June uh, 1st in Merdiv Sit Center and Sharjah Sit Center. A reduction in road casualties in Abu Dhabi since 2010 has saved the capital 520 million dirhams, according to the latest figures. The Abu Dhabi Road Safety Forum on Tuesday saw the release of the figures as Bada al Kamzi, the director of integrated planning at the department, was quoted as saying that in 2009 the fatality rate was 22.7 per 100,000 and their initial target was 16.7 fatalities per 100,000 population for 2021. Last year, the number of road fatalities for every 100,000 decreased to 11.5, and they have now set a target of 9 per 100,000 by 2021. He added that the number of road fatalities in the Emirate dropped to 263 last year from 409 in 2009, and that their commitment is to save 300 lives and avoid 3,000 casualties in the next five years. In order to achieve this, the committee has been developing a code, launching publicity campaigns, encouraging lifelong driver education and coordinating publicity for their campaigns. The Environment Agency Abu Dhabi has announced that it recorded a thousand violations against environment regulations in the first three months of the year. Over the last quarter, the EAD issued 287 environmental permits and conducted 291 inspection visits. The top three most common violations at industrial and de developmental projects were inefficient record keeping and staff training, the unsafe transfer of hazardous materials and their storage, and drawbacks in the handling of sites and safety and emergency response protocols in case of accidents. In order to enhance its inspections process, the EAD has introduced a system to record and monitor compliance of facilities and projects, where it uses the on-site assessment compliance and inspection system for electronic collection, analysis and storage of data. A shipment coming in from Africa with 259 pieces of elephant ivory has been seized by the Ministry of Environment and Water. According to reports, the illegal items were hidden in a furniture package that came in through Jebel Ali port and was discovered after an inspection. Sultan Alwan, the Assistant Undersecretary for External Audit at the Ministry, was quoted as saying that 259 pieces of ivory from African elephants were found, adding that it is illegal to trade in ivory as per the Federal Law No. 11 of 2002, pertaining to the CITES Convention, which the UAE ratified in 1990. 
This latest discovery of elephant tusks is the second since November last year, when Dubai Customs intercepted a shipment of 215 elephant tusks worth an estimated 4 million US dollars, en route from Kenya to Hong Kong. And finally, looking to other news now, the Burj Al Arab has been named as the best hotel in the world by the UK's Daily Telegraph ultra travel magazine Readers. The luxurious Dubai Hotel also won the award for Best Hotel in the Middle East. As the Ultra Awards recognised the best luxury hotels, airlines, cruise companies, spas and destinations globally. The ultimate luxury travel-related awards ceremony was held at the Dorchester Hotel in London. And the Burj Al Arab's general manager, Heinrich Morio, was quoted as saying that this kind of feedback serves as a source of inspiration and shows that despite the steep competition, they are still the preferred choice and a must-visit destination for discerning travellers worldwide.